guys, viewers, and welcome to part two of this little quickie, little quickie look at the Skill Tree Saga in the Dark High World. We are now in the tutorial area's final five final levels. Let's see if I can do it now. Finish it. I'm yeah, I'm having a pretty good run. I'm confident in myself, and I think we can manage this. So. Let's fight a nature spirit now. This is an easy one. Oh, he's <laughs> he's such a cute little critter, and we just murder him. Oh, I got a proven hero achievement for killing a little innocent animal of the wilds. Don't we feel good about ourselves now? A forest blob warrior. The forest blobs are bad, so we're gonna have to kid up ourselves. Drink a health potion. Unfortunately, we don't have any more health potions, so the way that we do this then would be let's do that. This creates a shield for us and this heals us. The paramedic sign kind of helps you understand that. And then we're gonna do the jab, a quick jab. Finish off with a little light ball. So let's see if we can best this master. There we go, Earth Shield, Regeneration. I don't think that do the trick as I hoped. No loca for sour switcher. Was that German or something? Uh, don't know. A fungus mage. I have no idea what to expect from a fungus mage, uh, but I am going to just put this in the first one, and this this is a quick attack that allows me to attack before the enemy casts or do, does anything else. And uh, might I say that this is really, really finicky, all of this. Moving around and selecting your skills and whatnot. Quite annoying. Okay, so we heal. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense that he has some sort of skin. There we go. We managed to heal ourselves a little bit more than he did damage to us, so that's good. We're on our way. And now we are a little bit out of mana, so let's drink a mana potion, astral potion as they call it. Unfortunately we don't have much more of that either, so let's try and we're gonna make do the heal again and then kick his ass. Hopefully that'll be enough. Oh that was enough. We managed to heal ourselves a bit and we killed him in one shot. Another fungus mage, same strategy, heal up a little bit and just hope we can do this. Okay, we kill him as well. And we found some diamonds. Finally, last region of Realmsburg. I am ready for the final trial. Welcome, young student. If you can defeat me, then you are ready for truly dangerous adventures and may officially call yourself Elemental Knight. What will it be? To death. Do not worry, I can handle a few four, 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 four sword strikes. Remember that. Should I win, you will be returned to town and lose your colored loot. You still have time to retreat. This is annoying to get into this part. So, we'll just see what happens. I might not even defeat him. Very, very likely. But, we're gonna give it our best shot. So, what we need to do is think, strategize how we do this. So, what I'm thinking is first we throw up this nice mountain shield and then we heal ourselves. Then we hit him with things that damage him over time. And land that with this elemental ball of elemental things. Can I actually unlock this? Ah, oh, too bad. If I had more adventure points, I could 
to throw this and then it would block stuff, but... Okay. Oh yeah, one more thing. We have to... Oh, yeah, I don't have any. So, we're gonna run out of these as well. So, we're just gonna try it and see what happens. Oh fuck, he has an originary ration as well. And desolation. Well, we were immune for that. Hell yes. But he heals himself back up. Let's attack. No. Can we do this? I do not think so. We died. Oh. These are the items that you lost. Oh, this is bad. That was a really, really good one, but... Thankfully, I didn't lose that one thing that... One really... No. Yeah, the Mithril Pants. The Mithril Pants, they're right in there in the corner. I lost them as well. They were really good. I forgot that I had them. Let's try this again. <laughs> this is gonna take a while again. Alright, guys, we're back here again. Very close to the final level. Now we have to fight another corrupt mushroom. This guy is easy. He does nothing to us. He's dead. How beautiful is that? Mushroom stew on the pan tonight. Uh, nature spirit. He'll attack us, but just he just pun pu pushes it with his head spikes. What is that even? I don't understand what that even is. But all right. Now it's the big guy, and now we're going to go all out with our, all of our abilities and we'll see what we can do. First of all, we're going to drink our small potions of stuff that we have collected, because now it doesn't matter how, what we have, because I didn't record and shoot. I didn't want to record all of these tries that I had. But this one, I actually managed to survive without drinking a single potion, so now I can just drink them. And now, let's again do our skill things. We started off with this, and that went rather well. And did we? Yes, we did. And then, I think smart thing is to start laying on the damage. And then, we do the heal. After which, we hit him again with damage, after which we summon our water elemental that we have. And we cannot upgrade him, but we can upgrade something. Something we can upgrade and we will. Hmm, what should we do? Let's upgrade fully. That's not. I guess this is a little bit dam more damage. Maybe this will make it me more turns. No. Well, I don't know. It didn't. Okay, and for the final turn, we give our finish off with our astral beam energy thingies. And now we just. Well, we really hope for the best. Wish me luck, guys. The epic, epic battle between mentor and student pupil begins. Who will come out of to on top? Are well, we fucked up with that at least? I think we could have this. Not sure. Now we summon our... We didn't summon him yet. We summon our... Water... No, we did not summon our water element. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't remember who might die. Oh! I've never had this happen. Apparently, if those six turns go by, you can. eat health and stuff. So, yeah, we have this in the bag now. We can just. What up? I got potions. What do you have, bro? We have this in the bag. Ooh, <laughs> this took me way longer than I imagined it would take. Holy hell. I don't know how many hours it took. Uh, let me see my watch. It took me three, three, four, maybe three hours. 
just to get to this end of this tutorial area. That's something. We got the water double now. He looks cool. Well, he looks a little out of place. And hey, we won! Praise Bryos. You were able to defeat me. Thus, you have completed your training. I hereby name you a true elemental knight. Wear your title proudly and show those orcs what it means to face one of our order. As you defeat the boss, you find some diamonds he was hiding. Why would he hide diamonds? You better not take my diamonds. I've hidden them. They're mine. Well, well we're gonna take them then anyway. And we're gonna loot the dwarven shoulder of a lion. I am victorious and we can go back to Griffin's Ford. And now, well, now I can talk about the menu, I guess. As you can see now, and many of you who watched the video must have determined this by now, this is a port from, an a, from a tablet game. This is designed for tablets in mind, as you can probably tell by the trophy picture and the Facebook fucking picture. So yeah, it's not really a PC game, and for the price tag, don't, don't buy this, don't buy this, it's not worth your time, but if for some explicable reason you really love the Dark Eye universe, well in that case too I think you should not buy this, because I read some comments on the Steam community forum and they did not like some of them did not like that this was used, that the Dark Eye franchise is being used, not the license, the license being used. And well, if you don't, if for whatever reason, if you're rich and you decide just to buy every single game on Steam, whatever comes out, well, you'll find this enjoyable maybe. Because, yeah, I'm <laughs> I managed to do this for four, three hours. And, well, it grabbed my attention and it kept me at it. Even though there is little to no interaction between you and the, what you do. But there is still some strategy involved in what you do. But, after a while it gets boring as you know all the enemies. What they're gonna do on what turn. It never changes really. I haven't gone to the higher level, difficulty levels yet. The higher dungeons. But... I bet they're gonna get harder there. So there is strategy involved, but this is an ultimate, ultimate grind fest that has must have some roots into it being an app game, more a mobile app game, where you just play it for a while on the toilet and then you forget about it again. Cause, ugh, and just weird, but. Uh, for ten dollars that it is, ten euros, ten dollars, whatever it is now, do not, I repeat, do not buy this. When it goes, when it goes on sale, maybe on 90% or something, and it will, because I, because right today, the weekend sale, weekend sale has other Dark Eye games, and they are tremendously cheap. Even uh, Black, Black God, that uh, role-playing game, an actual role-playing game, not this shite. That's... I don't remember the price now, but it was uh, 5 euro, 5 dollars in that range. And it has ton of content. Ton of content. If you want to buy a Dark Eye game, buy anything else but this. Do not buy this. Only when it goes to 90% sale. Then you can buy it. Well, I can quickly show you the store, you here you buy all sorts of crap, and, well, yeah, that's basically it. That's your inventory here, a little satchel, you can buy more slots to the satchel, and I'll just show you the world map. It's very big, isn't it? And this was a starting area. So. Without further ado, I hope you enjoyed this video, these two videos of a quickie look into Skill Tree Saga, and if you enjoyed this, remember to like and subscribe for more videos. Ta-ta everyone, have a good night.